Good afternoon, good day, good morning, however you're getting this. I am Father Marshall Shelley. I'm coming to you from St. Peter's Episcopal Church here at 505 Main Street in Spotswood, New Jersey. It is uh, the first weekly vlog that I have done in a while, and I wanted to give you an update on what's happening in the life, the ministry, and mission at St. Peter's. One of the things that I'll point to before I get to the word of the week is that things are feeling, even though we're in the midst of the dog days of summer, like a refreshing breeze is blowing through the church. And uh, we're all praying for one of those out there in the weather today, but uh, we're really feeling that inside. So I wanted to take an opportunity to invite you to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notification, gives us those thumbs up and those remarks and comments so that we can enrich our ministry and mission and context with welcoming you home to St. Peter's. Brings me to the word of the week. The word of the week is conference. We are in the midst right now of watching the Anglican world turn its gaze to Canterbury in England, to Lambeth Palace, where the Lambeth Conference is ongoing. This is a once in a decade gathering that's been going on for just over 150 years, give or take, um, here in the Anglican Communion, which is worldwide, a collection of provinces uh, of people who look to Canterbury for spiritual leadership and guidance, but also really recognize instruments of unity, the Anglican Consultative Conference, which is a group of people that gather to bridge the gaps between independent provinces and uh, and around the church, around the world, as well, the Archbishop of Canterbury in his or her role uh, serves as an instrument of unity. And finally, the gathering of the primates of the provinces. These are the archbishops or the, uh, the ones, the presiding bishops of the churches that constitute the communion itself. Little insider baseball. But what it really is, is that the essential element, the essential community of every bit of the Anglican, com Anglican communion is the local diocese, the gathering of parishes into one convention under one bishop. And all of these dioceses have bishops who have been invited to Lambeth. Controversies abound, as they always do in Anglicanism, but the idea of a conference that I love is that people are gathered together in order to be in relationship to each other, to pray with each other as Christians in this case, to study scripture, to listen to each other's stories and testimonies, to, to compass a wide variety of experiences and, and perspectives so that we can all learn and become enriched by how broad, how deep, how wide is the interwoven garment that the body of Christ really is in the world. We lose perspective on that sometimes when we're just a local church. It would be so easy to, to delimit my experience of the church or your experience of the church to what we see outside our window. I look outside, I see Main Street and Spotswood. I look to my left through the windows of my office and I see the church and the parish hall and the churchyard. That is my perspective day after day. However, it is important for us to lift up our eyes to the hills to see a broader perspective of what it means to be a member of the body of Christ. We're not just one parish in one place. We are many parishes gathered in one diocese, and we are many dioceses gathered into one church, and we are many churches, provinces gathered into one communion. And I'm watching that unfold. There's always a temptation to try to foist off our expectations of each other on a conference. I want to see something happen. I want to be fed by what I expect. However, we have to be open to what God intends. And the beauty of a conference that is conceived in the Holy Spirit and executed with an open heart and mind means that we are able to gather together and become a broader and more beautiful community of the beloved in Christ. The challenge for us here in the church is to see that as relevant to hear the voices of the bishops gathered and understand that that is a lens of understanding through which we can see the broader context of a global movement that is the body of Christ for us as Anglicanism. And Anglicanism itself is a complicated heritage. Most of it was born of colonialism and an imperial expansion. Much of it was forged and founded in the divisions that human beings have wrought in class and in race and in all the isms you can possibly imagine need to strive for a kind of justice that moves beyond those human aspects of institution and seeks to draw itself more closely to the divine perspective. So that's the word for the week, which is conference. How do you take conference with the people around you? How do you understand yourself as being in relationship with them to listen broadly and openly and then to be hearing what those words are offering up to others as you seek to prayerfully embody what Christ is tendering to you? It is a lot uh, to take on, but at the same time, it is a great gift to share. 
Please join us as we continue to work our way through the work and witness of the church. The shop is open. We're having a huge preschool sale, um, not preschool sale, although there are preschool clothes and things available, but preschool beginning sale. You can find elements uh, conveniently priced. And of course, if you are in need, please come to us. We are happy to vouch for you and support you in getting the things you need without charge. But we're uh, focused primarily on raising mission and ministry monies for the church, which we thank you for your support in doing in the community. Our amazing crew of Community Supper folks continue in the face of heat and the challenges of humidity to serve good meals and also keep our mini food mart pantry open, as well as Alice's Cup Food Pantry. We appreciate your backyard partners. If you've got too much zucchini, too many tomatoes, although the chipmunks have been raiding ours, so we're waiting for our first ripe ones that we can actually eat and not have stolen. Um, if you've got that produce you want to share, bring it to Alice's Cup. We'll share it with others. Above all, keep us in your prayers as we work through these last few days of the summer, aim ourselves toward the fall, look to the renewal of our mission and ministry, and seek to serve all in the name of Christ. Finally, a little teaser, check out our messenger. We are doing a re renewed publication. We have revamped that in, a, in some great ways. And we're also pointing you to our website, www.stpeterspotswood.org, so you can see more that's happening around the life of the church as we seek to offer conference and care to others in need and in making sure that we are open to all and to welcome all home to Christ. For now, brothers and sisters in Christ, take care and God bless. We'll see you around the campus soon. Bye-bye now.